Hello, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships. I originally had a Armored Warfare video planned today, but I was trying to do a live commentary, and the game crashed on me, so it was acting up, so hopefully we can do Armored Warfare video for tomorrow, Wednesday, but for now it's going to be um, World of Warships, uh, as they record this on Monday night. So I want to talk a little bit more about Airship Escort, and I don't always give enough love, I think, per se, for the German battleships, so... I'm going to take the um, Gros Secure first, the Grobe Secure first, the GK out. And normally when I'm playing Airship Escort, the only thing I really take is the Hotel Yankee, uh, the ramming uh, signal. But this is a secondary battleship, so I want to extend those secondary range. And I'm actually working on getting Gunther Luchens up to being a 21 point commander. So I actually have some good credits, commander XP, free XP. So I'm going to put a little bit more effort in and also uh, extending my Hydro Duration and also um, reducing the fire time and uh, my heal. So we're going to rock with that. And the topic that I want to talk about uh, with Airship Escort today, as we have fun in the game and kind of see things as they go, hopefully it's not a, a complete washout, um, is the game mode itself. Um, I recently made a poll uh, on my community tab asking what is your favorite battle type, um, battle mode, of course, uh, with YouTube polls, you can only have max of five options, so I couldn't put in clan battles, I couldn't put in um, airship escorts, and there's a reason I didn't put airship escort in, uh, in addition to the other changes, is that soon Wargaming is planning to implement airship escort into random battles. They've said this repeatedly uh, in different newsletters, um, game updates, uh, I think they've said it at least three times now, if not four or five. Um, and then they've said this repeatedly on different streams. So I've kept Airship Escort out because at some point it's going to be in random battles, um, unfortunately, is what I would say. Um, and so that is kind of what I want to talk about. Um, I like having this. So it was a similar scenario we had with Arms Race. Now it's in random battles, which is it's okay. I liked it when it was separate. But uh, Airship Escort, um, I really wish Wargaming would keep it as its own battle type. Um, I think that there's a much more benefit and the players would enjoy it more as its own battle type versus being put into random battles. And you can feel free to agree or disagree with me in the comments below. I would love to have uh, your input and feedback on what your thoughts are. Part of my, um, I don't know if I, if did I say concern or uh, what I really enjoy about Airship Escort in its own battle type is that it's a different uh, change up from the randoms battle meta. Uh, being able to go into an own battle type that encourages um, brawling, that you actually have to fight uh, over an objective um, and guiding the airship uh, you know, from the beginning uh, to its end destination point, which I think we're gonna kind of position roughly in here, um, is really enjoyable because you, when you're playing random battles whether you're playing standard battle domination mode um arms race some things sometimes things get really stale um you have a lot of campers and sometimes of course you can have complete washouts like you can have washouts here in airship escort depending on matchmaking um and your teammates decisions and enemy teams uh, decisions if you wipe the enemy team off the floor um but that when you i would look at this Okay, there's an Ohio, there's a Kremlin, a GK, me, Bismarck, there's a, a two GKs, a Kremlin enemy team. You have, of course, a lot of destroyers who want to take advantage of the brawling, knowing that battleships are pushing in, so it's actually kind of fun as a destroyer player playing this game mode, uh, because you're, um, you have better chances, of course, getting torpedoes, and you have, you know, of course, the lines going along the map, showing the route you have to take, even though some players seem to still kind of struggle to understand the objective of this game mode. Um, but it's fun, I think, for a lot of classes. Um, it's really nice. It's a break of mentality, a break of the traditional flavors of random battles. I mean, I'm grateful, at least I guess we have arms race now, they took away Epicenter. Um, but I would really prefer Wargaming keep uh, Airship Escort as its own battle type um, and not having it a, a part of the uh, meta of randoms battle. Um, because it's just nice um, being able to kind of like mentally change gears and say, hey, I'm kind of done with random battles for the day because I should have AP loaded. Um, but I'm tired, tired of random battles today. Let me just kind of switch things up and let's go into um, yeah, 3000. Let's go into 
airship escort where I can have kind of fun blast some steam hopefully and getting some brawling action um actually can utilize uh my brawling ships which I'm not always able to utilize maybe I don't like I know I don't feel like I can uh utilize them uh so much um in um the brawling meta well the non-brawling meta that randoms has become um particularly due to the fact that uh Deadeye killed a lot of things in the game. The commander we work at 10.0 when they slaughtered um, secondaries in the game. Okay, I'm going to move up and support our Holland a bit more. He's got a Minotaur over there. I thought this Ohio might go down on the flank, but he's not. So that's kind of just how I feel about the game. I wish that, uh, again, Wargaming would keep his edge on battle type. Ooh, he got torpedoed back, uh, Mr. Yugamo. It's a lot of torpedoing of... Oh, that's by a submarine, though. A lot of torpedoing of destroyers this game. Um, hopefully they can get... I think the Summers is going to go down here. Um, the Minotaur, Montana, Summers is there, Jutland, Balau. We have no DD threat or submarine threat over here, so we're going to push. So let's see if I can get my Ohio player to come with us. So I'm not going to go on more about the this sort of topic, but I'm going to kind of try to enjoy the brawling. Um, here. I hope you like having the camera. I'm trying to be a little more intentional, maybe trying to record some more content, uh, face cam, uh, make you perhaps feel like you can interact with me a bit more. So we're having the Baraska. Uh, I don't really know. The Summers is just sitting in there. Okay, they're getting some hits on him still in the blind firing action. And I think they're a little afraid to run in there because they might uh, fear getting torpedoed by Summers. Okay, I think we got our Ohio player to come with us, maybe. Ooh. Secondaries, go. Be good, be good. Ah, German dispersion. Okay, he probably dumped some torpedoes, so I'm going to slow down, and we'll pop Hydro here in just a moment. I'm going to hang on a little bit more before I pop it again. Let's try to get the rear turrets back on. Ah, got away. Can I get any on the Montana? No, not so much. Nebraska is going to possibly set us on fire here. So we're going to go ahead. He's actually... Oh, oh he's going to go. He's going to go broadside to go behind the island. I don't think I'm getting my rear turrets on time. That was nice. Now he's going to AP spam us from behind the island, and Nebraska is getting ready to do bad things to us. I really want my Ohio to push with me. There's no need for him to sit back there. Now this Nebraska is going to be in trouble because he's got within our secondary range now. And I have to keep an eye on this Montana. I'm trying to see if we can use. He seems to be distracted on what's happening behind. I don't want to get closer to the Minotaur's torpedoes. Um, if he decides to reverse out and dump some. So we're just going to kind of chill here. Get rid of this Nebraska. He's trying to go dark behind the island, so we're going to wait till he turns more. And hopefully we can really punish him here. I hope. Yeah, that hurt him. All right, so the Minotaur has moved up. Um, I don't think. As long as we stay off to the side here, we should be fine. But our teams... Yeah, it could still go either way at this point. Let's go ahead and pop a heal. Nebraska's probably going to send up planes again on us in a moment. We'll keep the guns a little bit behind here. Yeah, there's the Nebraska. Uh, maybe Minotaur pops out on us. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna open up the distance a little bit. I'm just a little conscious of Minotaur's torpedoes. Um, yeah, this is the fire. Um, so I'm gonna go a little wider. Ooh, is he burning? Oh, I didn't realize I had him set on fire. Cool. Well, we're going to try to work this flank. I don't know if I have enough. Ah, he just went dark. One of the things I like to do in this game mode is securing the end zone. Um, I quite enjoy doing that when I'm spawned over here. Oh, Ohio has listened. He's finally come with us, which is great. Um, but uh, 
I don't think we need all three battleships here necessarily, so we should punish them when they come through pretty heavily, but we need to try to get in here and support our team a bit more. I didn't really want the Montana and Ohio to follow me all the way over here. I was just trying to cut off the Nebraska from escaping, was the idea. So we're going to go ahead and pop, um, oh, Kremlin. This would be, can we go more broadside for us? Or maybe we go for Republic. Let's go for the Republic. Um, why did you try to get that Nebraska under crosshair? I'm sure he wasn't going to get away. So we're going to have to push up here. Ooh, that was a good salvo. Because we also need to get more use of our secondaries, right? Mm, not sure what that's from. Go ahead and highlight him. We're about to punish him again. Yes, I know, you're very salty because we're over here. He's very, particularly, he's very salty with our Monty. Alright, let's set up the GK. Okay, they got the Republic, that's great. If, uh, we can use this. Let's see. If, uh, okay, there, he's back there behind the island. That's one of the things I like at least being able to utilize with the depth charges. I think we can lob shells over that. It's gonna be close. Unfortunately not. Oh, we set a fire with one secondary. <laughs> okay, Minotaur is still sitting there. I'm, uh, okay, so Ohio and Montana are both here in the mid. So we're just going to keep pushing, and we're going to go up here on the flank. Okay, that GK is... I don't know where the heck he's been. Very sus places. Is, is, are they going to be able to yoink him? Do I need to slow down for that? Ah, crap. I'm going to zoom in again. Okay, now they know where I'm at. Okay, he's kind of just disengaging. Ah! Mini tour. Alright, we'll use Hydro on you here in a moment. I think we can. Torpedoes, direct front. Right, we might be able to torpedo beast this. We might. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Thank you, secondaries, for the kind notice. Oh, come on. He's going to get behind island before I can do anything. Um. We kind of have, like, battleships everywhere. I don't really want to take a ram from the Montana. We're showing a nice broadside, though. Yeah, that was the GK. That was a nice salvo. We'll go ahead and pop another heal here. Now you're gonna push out after I fire. Are you gonna run away? Because that would be kind of funny. Ah, you up. I don't actually like the fact that you knocked out my moon. Okay, you're actually running. They're all running away. <laughs> There's no need for them to run away. Um, maybe right there. Okay, nope. I was hoping I had enough pin to break through there, but I guess not. My bad. But we're just forcing them away. The Montana actually should have pushed. And he's actually purposely targeting my guns. So let's... Uh, we'll use the rear turrets on GK and we'll use our front turrets on the Montana. But you're showing broadside again. Ish. I think I've got enough angle there. Yeah. So, we just prevent them from coming in around here on our team. So, there's nothing, uh, like, amazingly mind-blowing about this play. We're just, we're keeping them out. We pushed them both away. So, we did our job in coming up here. So, we are the deterrent. You have to use your flimsy deterrent every now and then. And I was really hoping to catch that Minotaur like we did, so that was fantastic. 
probably didn't necessarily have to use the DCP on the gun being knocked out, but I don't know. I was hoping that the Montana, if he's going to keep showing broadside like that, that would be able to punish him well. But, uh, we got the heal coming up here. So 189,000 damage so far is pretty good. This GK is probably very focused on trying to get us killed. Although, if you're in a GK, why are you spamming HE? I mean, yeah, you're setting me on fire occasionally, but you getting better salvos with the German AP than you do the German... Uh, uh, a getting better use out of the German AP than you are the German HE. He's going to go broadside because we're turrets off here, so we're going to kill the throttle now. We're going to be fun. So we killed the throttle, so mostly us went on to our guns. And unfortunately, I turned a little too soon before my rear turrets were ready. No, he's not even a secondary build, GK. What is this build? Because he's focused on the Kremlin. Our Kremlin's closer than us. I don't know. But 205,000 damage is pretty darn good with 1.1 million credits. Um, 170 secondary hits. Game was kind of close there for a little bit. Uh, 2,000 base XP. Good stuff, good stuff. Mr. Minotaur, who we did very bad things to. As well as the GK. So we had some really good positioning. So our, our battleships were kind of like all these different positions on the map, which is great. So that's why I didn't feel like I needed to sit there uh, where the enemy sh battleships may or may not come out at. But being able to go up to the flank and prevent that Montana and that GK from pushing in down that way, uh, I think worked really well, in my opinion. Yeah, so. So yeah, let me know in your comments what you think about um, airship escorts. I've seen a lot of positive uh, reaction to this in the World of Ships community, at least from what I've seen. But um, let me know. Uh, do you want to see this as its own battle type? Or do you prefer it being its own battle type as it is now, battle mode? Um, or uh, and then you see it negative that it's going into the random uh, queue of different types of modes within randoms battle um, or you actually you would like that you would like to see airship escort in within randoms so let me know in the comments I'd be really interested to know what you think to see how accurate I'm um, being able to guess from the community so and if you liked today's video give a thumbs up if you did not give a thumbs down subscribe if you do want to see more if you subscribe thanks so much I appreciate it and we'll catch you next time take care